Hello dear students, in this video we are going to talk about some of the preparation methods of alcohols. The first method is hydration of alkenes. As you remember alkenes were hydrocarbons with double bond and basically hydration is a reaction with water. Let's see two examples for this reaction. In the first one let's take ethylene, alkene with two carbon atoms. To understand the reaction better, let's write water as HOH. Hydrogen atom adds to one of the carbon atoms and OH group adds to the other one. So an alcohol, ethanol is produced. Let's see the second case with propene. Propene is the alkene with three carbon atoms. We again add water. But here we do have two cases. If you add OH group to the first carbon atom, the product will be one propanol. If you add OH group to the second carbon atom, the product will be 2-propanol. But as you remember, we need to apply Markovnikov's rule in such cases. So, when you are adding an unsymmetrical molecule to another unsymmetrical molecule, hydrogen atom goes to the carbon atom, which already has more hydrogens. In here, CH2 has more hydrogens. So hydrogen atom will go to this carbon atom. And OH group is going to go to the second carbon atom. So the product will be 2-propanol. In both reactions, sulfuric acid is used as a catalyst. The second method is synthesis of alcohol from alkyl halides. As you remember, alkyl groups are obtained by taking one hydrogen out from an alkane. This is methane, an alkane. And this is methyl, an alkyl group. Similarly, this is ethane and this is ethyl. So these two are alkanes, these two are alkyl groups. If you add a halogen to these alkyl groups, you're going to get an alkyl halide. This is methyl bromide, this is ethyl chloride. When you react these alkyl halides with a strong base like sodium hydroxide, an alcohol will be produced. This is a substitution reaction and OH group substitutes the halogen. The third method is reduction of aldehydes and ketones. As you remember, oxidation of primary alcohols was giving aldehydes and oxidation of secondary alcohols was giving ketones. This is like a reverse reaction. So if you have an aldehyde, it can be reduced to a primary alcohol. And if you have a ketone, it can be reduced to a secondary alcohol. This could be done with hydrogen. These are going to be addition reactions. Let's see them. Here we have an aldehyde. There we have a ketone. Let's add hydrogen to both. When you add a molecule of hydrogen, one of the hydrogen atom goes to the oxygen and the other hydrogen atom goes to the carbon atom. The same thing happens in here. One of the hydrogens go to oxygen and the other one goes to the carbonyl carbon. Let's write the products. And the bond becomes a single bond. In both reactions, platinum is used as a catalyst. The fourth method is a specific one. In first three methods, it was possible to get several different alcohols. However, the last method, fermentation of glucose, gives only one alcohol, ethanol. This reaction is used to prepare alcoholic beverages like beer and wine, and yeast is often used as a catalyst for this process. In this reaction, carbon dioxide is also produced along with ethanol. This is the end of this video. If it was helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel. If you also hit the bell button, you will be notified about the next video. Goodbye.